Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Boulanger, a professor of electronic production and design at the Berklee College of Music in Boston. Today, I'm going to be working with and showing you how to work with Roland's IRA modules, their System 1M, how to combine that with Eurorack modules, and even how to design your own custom modules with their IRA modular customizer. So let's get going. Back in the early days of electronic music synthesis and synthesizers, all of these machines were modular. You had to patch with patch cords from oscillators to filters to envelope generators and amplifiers. You had to kind of design the synthesizer every time you wanted to make a sound. As we advanced, we started making really beautiful, um, complete systems and took care of a lot of the patching for you. Along the way, though, we lost some of the creative capabilities that all of us enjoyed who started back when synthesizers were just born. And now Roland is bringing back those capabilities. They've given us now a set of four amazing effect modules. And these modules have tons of inputs, tons of controls, microcontrols, amazing microcontrols with higher resolution than MIDI ever dreamed of. And they feel great, they sound great, and what they let me do is they let me get under the hood, Roland does, and really totally transform radically the sort of algorithm and sound that's possible. They allow you to be so much more creative with sound, synthesis, and signal processing. New ways to patch new sounds. That's the key. And the excitement of modular synthesis. So the four modules that we're going to focus on today are Scooper, Demora, Bitraiser, and Torcindo. Each of them focuses on a unique form of signal processing. Scooper is a combination scatter looper. It's a sampler that cuts up audio in really interesting algorithmic ways. Demora is a phenomenal delay line that goes from microsecond delay times for flanging and chorusing and comb resonating to extremely long delay times, cleanly and seamlessly, 10 second delay times at the far end. Bit Razor is a really interesting module, kind of complex. A bit reducer, bit rate reducer, and also a sample rate reducer with a resonant low pass filter in the mix as well. A very interesting effects processor. It'll be great to show you what you can do with it. And lastly, we're going to focus on the Torcido module, which is a really interesting distortion effect, and then some. In addition to really looking at all that's possible with these four fantastic modules, we're also going to focus today on the IRA Modular Customizer app which runs on your iPad, runs on your Android tablet, runs on your Mac or PC. And this allows you to actually radically change what the modules do under the hood. So we'll get into each of these in detail and get a real sense of what's possible. It's quite amazing. So let's get started by playing with the phenomenal Scooper module. This is a sampler looper with 10 custom scatter algorithms developed by Roland. These are incredibly popular in the System 1 keyboard synthesizer, but now these scatter algorithms are applied to audio. It's incredibly fun. What I'm going to do is take my microphone into the input, stereo input, of the Scooper module. All the IRA modules are 96K, 24-bit, stereo in, stereo out. Okay, we'll take the stereo outs of Scooper to my output mixer. Okay, now what we'll do is record a little sample, just a little test signal. And so I'll hit the record button, and as soon as I do, it starts recording the loop. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
And now it's one, playing two, the loop three, four, back. Five, I haven't turned on one, two, scatter three, four, yet. Five, it's just looping. One, two, and three, four, as soon as I turn on the scatter one, two, three, four, algorithm, five, I then one, two, engage three, four, five, not only these fantastic one, two, three, four, scatter five, algorithms, one, two, three, but I also four, five, engage one, two, three, pitch four, processing. One, two, three, four, five, I'm changing the pitch one, two, three, four, down or up. Right? One, so two, I have control three, four, five, of the pitch of the playback. One, two, Listen to how clean four, that is. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, Very extreme range of pitch control, seamless. Okay? And also, there's a nice high pass filter and low pass filter built into the system. But where the action happens is when you play with the scatter algorithms. Let's go to one of the ten. We're focusing on just one of the scatter algorithms, but what we're playing with is one of the different kind of depths. So it's deciding where in the sequence of time it should now cut from and recompose. One of my favorite scatter algorithms is this one. So it's playing through the sample still, but it's chopping it into tiny little bits, little grains, and sort of looping the little inner grains. So we're hearing um, uh, a kind of robotic pitch applied to the recorded material. And I can also use the pitch control globally to affect that pitch sequence. Kind of fun, right? Now, play with the filter. Wouldn't it be nice to wiggle the pitch like I'm doing with my hand now? Well, I can do that with voltage control. I'm going to take the LFO out of the System 1M and Plug it into that pitch control input. Creating a kind of rhythm. It's an LFO, but it's at almost audio rate now, and so we're almost getting like these harmonics. Listen to how it tuned the pitch sequence. And now we'll slow down, and we hear it kind of scrubbing, like a maybe a bad turntablist. Let's just take that out, and let's just bypass and end here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, so it's three, a four, five. Um, sample rate reduction five. applied to the sequence. One, two, three, four, and hey, wait, reverse. Scooper is a lot of fun. It really gives you the basis that you can use creatively to build grooves in a very interesting way. You're going to have a ball with Scooper. Demora is a remarkable interpolating delay line with a range of one microsecond to 10 seconds of delay time. Typically, we would set them out of feedback, set a delay time, bump, and a certain amount of dry wet balance. This is how we use delay lines. An extra feature of this delay line is the width parameter, which sets a kind of ping-pong delay and widens the stereo delay field. You can kind of hear it bouncing from side to side a little bit. But what's really exciting about this delay line, as you hear me playing with the delay time while I'm talking to you, is how clean it is, first of all. Delay lines will change the perceived pitch when you change the delay time, but they always add all kinds of artifacts. This is how clean this is, that I'm able to just sweep out to 10 seconds or into 
10 microseconds. The other kind of nice thing about this delay line is it has a hold feature. And it just freezes whatever's in the delay buffer. Let's see if I can catch something. One. Right, so it's kind of nice because I could actually do a kind of pitch sampling by just holding something and playing with delay time. One of the other things I especially like with this delay line is when you get a really short delay time and then you increase the feedback, you begin to get a kind of comb filtering or a uh, kind of a resonant feedback loop. And you can use this to sort of play and pitch shift and harmonize as you go. So I especially like this effect. Let's take our loop, patch it back one, in two, instead of my voice. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Add some scattering. Keep my microphone in. Let's take that same LFO and use it to control all the time. This isn't your father's delay line, I'll tell you. Remarkable range of control. That's just a small taste of what's possible with Demora. Let's take a look at Torcido. This module is a really complex effect processor. Maybe you would think for a guitar, but really for anything. We're going to feed a lot of sounds into it during the course of these uh, demos. But we will start with guitar, and we must because one of the knobs is distortion, and another of the knobs is tube warmth. And so I'm thinking guitar amps and guitar processing might have been the target when they were designing this module. But I'll tell you, it goes a lot further than that, and we're going to show you how we take it a lot further than that. But let's start with some guitar lick. It's a guitar played by one of my students, Jeremy Zuckerman, from the Berklee College of Music. And we've got it here in the CS Spectral app, and I'm getting that audio out through an audio damage Eurorack module that's just taking the uh, signal and allowing me to patch it right in directly. Stereo in 96K. Okay, so we've got our straight, funky guitar. Not a bad sound, but might be nice to give it a little more attitude. Let's turn off bypass and turn up the distortion. Let's use the tone control to shape the sound even more. Give it a little more bite. When I gave it that bite, I kind of lost the low end. Why don't we use the bass boost and give myself some bottom again? Wow. And maybe even warm it up more with the tube emulation. dry mix and all of these controls and any of them can be voltage controlled and controlled by some other parameter and some other module and that's what I'd like to do. Already it sounds pretty good. Let's listen carefully just to the things it does by itself one more time. Tone. Tube. Bass boost and distortion. So it's already 
does quite a lot. But let's instead take the output from oscillator 2 of the system 1, M, and at audio rate. So we're going to take that output, you can plug it in a lot of places. The first place we're going to plug it in is into the tone input. Now what we're going to be doing is actually audio modulating the filter. And what we're going to get is a lot of sort of interesting harmonics. Okay? <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the frequency and wave shape of the oscillator itself in the System 1M and see if I can't change what frequencies we're hearing as we're processing this guitar track. That's a pretty weird and incredible fuzz box, if I should say so myself. Listen again. Right? Torcindo was not designed to produce sounds like that. Torcindo produces sounds like that because it's a module that's voltage controllable and I'm taking the output from someplace else in my Euro rack and using those voltages to push the module to places it wasn't designed to go, but places maybe my music or your music needs to go. So now we're going to play with Bitrazor, and this is a really interesting module. I like doing sample rate conversion and bit rate reduction, especially on drums and drum tracks, because I like keeping the rhythm intact, but adding all of these artifacts and adding all this noise to the drum sound. It's a nice way of creating an original sounding drum kit out of your drum sample library. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a drum groove and we're going to patch it into, I'm going to use Torcindo just as a little preamp. And so here's our drum groove into Bitrazor. This is the original clean sound. Now, what I'm going to do first is, there's a filter on this module, and so I'm just going to show you that. And it's a resonant low-pass filter. Let's turn up the resonance. and just play with it a little bit. All right, a little filter solo, like we've heard in so many recordings. Let's leave the filter alone, wide open, and now let's play with sample rate reduction. Starting at a sample rate of 96K, we're gonna go down to a sample rate of about 2K. stopping here about 10k or so. It's interesting all these nice little harmonic artifacts that come when you convert the sample rate down. Right. Another effect that's a little more subtle than that is you know, bit crushing or bit rate reduction. And so what we're doing here is we're gonna go from 24 bits of precision down to about two bits. And when we get down to two bits, there's hardly anything left of the signal. But here's 24 bits. Just 
strikes left. Add sample rate reduction to that. And what we've got is the bare bones skeleton left of our drum groove, but not much else. This is the this is just the bones of the of the beat. filtering kind of nice and now I'm going to combine what we were doing a minute ago with Torsindo and add a little bass boost some extra distortion this is because when I do bit rate reduction and sample rate conversion like this, you lose so much of the signal that I almost have to add back information. And so I'm adding that back with Torsindo. Moments ago, we thought Torsindo was all about guitar effects, maybe a new kind of guitar effect. But no, it's much more than that. The combination of Torsindo and Bitrazer is a really wonderful new set of creative tools. Now it might be nice to do that sort of big sweep, maybe with voltage control. So let me take the output from an oscillator, a little sine wave oscillator from IntelliGel, a little Dixie, and let's plug that into the filter cutoff. to mention. There's a nice low pass, high pass filter option on Bitrazer. It's quite a powerful module. It's got that resonant low pass or high pass. Listen carefully. Resonant high pass filter. Resonant low pass filter. You're not used to hearing actually resonant high pass filter sweeps. You got them now. What we want to do now is put together all four modules and sort of recapitulate a little bit of some of the effects processing and voltage control that we were doing. We're going to load in a different drum beat and uh, loop it in scooper. So here it is. And we'll maybe scatter it for a second. And then put it back to normal. Um, we'll sort of modulate the filter a little bit. As you hear. It's kind of scrubbing. We'll do that every now and then. Um, we'll go into bit razor and kind of make it a little more delicate. Tune it a little bit. Filter it again. High pass. Even nicer. Okay. 
Then we'll go into Demora to add some kind of harmonics and tune it. And then we'll modulate that with Nano Rand. Get a little crazier. Okay. And then finally, with Torcido, we will add a little distortion, a little more noise to the drums. But then we'll kind of ring modulate that filter again with Oscillator 2 out of the System 1M. So here comes the ring mod. of adding that low frequency this time. You hear the little fluttering. So now let's bring all four in and just play a little bit with it, starting delicately and then kind of building up to a big finish. the surface.